Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Geminis for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Geminis, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, we've got the Three of Swords. All right, so somebody here may have very recently experienced loss or heartache. The Three of Swords also indicates, you know, deception um, or possibly a third party situation. All right, your person is showing up as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And they're viewing you as the queen of swords. So you're in alignment, Gemini, or at least that's how they're seeing you. And I do think that this person is seeing you as turning your back to this person. You've got a pretty big sword there. So either you've got a lot to say or you maybe even told this person off. What you're not seeing is the ace of cups. So there's some sort of new beginning in love here. And the page of swords tells me there's a new beginning in love here. So we maybe have, we might have two energies here, uh, my dear Geminis. And there was something similar in your opposite sign, Sagittarius's reading, where we were picking up on like a past person who was like very parasitic, a user. Um, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse tells me that your person may not be giving or wasn't taking action, wasn't pulling their weight in this connection. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is actually quite a nasty energy. This is somebody who's probably very jealous, very clingy, doesn't, you know, wants to like check your phone and always know what you're up to. Um, accusing you of doing things that you weren't doing. And we've got the Three of Cups. So Spirit's saying, keep doing what you're doing. Rely on friends and family, your inner circle at this time. You have something new and beautiful coming in, but you've definitely been heartbroken. Now, for some of you, maybe you've experienced a loss and my heart goes out to you. And for others of you, there's just been a breakup or a separation. You know what I'm kind of getting from this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? I'm kind of getting that she... Um, you know, this person maybe was like accusing you of cheating, but actually they were just like gaslighting you. It was what they were doing. Yeah, you may feel like there's unfinished business with this past person, Gemini. Um, it is important to get closure. Now, it doesn't mean necessarily you need to get closure from this person, because oftentimes when we talk about closure and we reach out to someone or someone reaches out to us, we're really just reactivating that cord. So I do want you to be careful there. Um, but I do feel it's important to close out this cycle, do that healing work. And I, I think you're doing that with the Queen of Swords. Again, I just keep hearing rely on your inner circle at this time. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this person, you're the person you're dealing with is so low vibrational. Again, it's really similar to the Sag reading, but different cards. Queen of Swords in reverse is replaying hurt and heartache, being anchored in a lower vibration. This Queen of Pentacles, whoever it is, male or female, it doesn't matter. And they could be Earth or Air. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, um, I was going to say Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, possibly Sag energy, because I keep being reminded of that reading. But the Queen of Swords in reverse is someone who is just, they're angry, they're bitter, they're resentful. They do not want you to close out this chapter with them. Again, misery loves company. I feel like this is toxic. I'm hearing my guides are saying, Gemini, run, set strong boundaries with this past person, cut them off, block them. All right, or maybe a lot of you already have, and I feel like that's triggering them. Um, the Six of Pentacles, this past person wants to make it up to you, but for a lot of you, you know, and I don't always read the Six of Pentacles this way, but we see this person giving to two different people. They may have been or had you in some sort of third party situation, and they want to heal things. They're holding back, they're watching your social media. This person's probably denying that they, you know, that they hurt you or they disappointed you. I'm just getting really low vibrational energy off of this past person, Gemini. You're in the Queen of Swords energy. They're seeing that they don't have access to your emotions anymore is what I'm getting. And that's exactly the way it should be. All right. You've started something new or you're on a new journey. That's very triggering for this past person. And, you know, I do apologize about these negative messages, but they are coming through. All right. And they're coming through really strong. Yep. And this person... Gemini, they're seeing you as definitely um, not giving to this connection anymore. And a lot of you, you have started something new. I'm also getting this person always accused you of starting something new or being with somebody if you were or you weren't. 
and a lot of you, you weren't, but you do have some sort of karmic justice coming in. Um, this person doesn't want to let you go. They want to keep you stuck, Gemini, this past person. But Spirit's saying we've got this Ace of Cups energy. You have a new love. You have blessings and love coming your way. This is an opening of the heart chakra after a time of healing. Some of you, Page of Cups in reverse, you might be a little distrustful of love right now because of what you've been through, and I can certainly see why, all right? And the Queen of Pentacles, but you have somebody that's seeing you, somebody that's seeing you as long-term, maybe even marriage material, but they're seeing you as somebody who takes really good care of themselves. They're opposite of the person you are dealing with. This is somebody who's going to be loving, caring, giving. They're going to give you security and stability. But I do see some of my gems. You're going to maybe not be trusting this in the beginning, or it might feel a little bit too good to be true. But this is your karmic justice after learning the lessons, after cutting off this past person who, who I just see was draining you. You're ready to take a leap of faith in a new direction. Some of my gems with the Page of Swords, you may already know who this person is who's coming towards you, this new person. But for others of you, it might be somebody who's checking you out online or you meet through online. Sagittarius energy in reverse tells me you do still have some healing to do because I feel like you've been through something quite traumatic here with the Three of Swords. But I feel this new person, Queen of Pentacles, she's going to wait. She's going to hold space for you while you heal. And that's exactly what we want. And I, I said she, but remember my readings are not gender specific. This is somebody who's loving and nurturing. They're balanced. They're not going to rush things, all right? And the Ace of Swords, and this is completely in alignment with you. Cut cords with this past energy. I know it's not always easy. Karmic situations are some of the hardest lessons that we have to learn, some of the hardest uh, relationships to let go of. But you have something new, something really beautiful coming towards you and coming in fast, Cancerian energy. And this is something worth celebrating, something absolutely worth celebrating. So let's get some additional messages for my Geminis. I'm loving this energy for you because it's like, you know, the messages here are like putting away the past, recognizing what's toxic, what doesn't work, who deserves to be in our inner circle, who deserves to have access to our energy and who doesn't. And I just love that. I love that for you. Okay. So the runner. So again, my guides are saying run, run from this past person. Um, you know, this person listens to their ego. They might not have ever really let you in or weren't able to let you in, but we're accusing you of doing the same. I'm just getting gaslighting from this past person. All right. But you are the Phoenix rising from the ashes here, Gemini. You're ready for a new phase. I don't, I don't see you rekindling with a past person. Although, you know, some of you, it could be the case, but I'm seeing 99.9% .9 of you. This is a major transformation in your love life. You are the Phoenix rising from the ashes and you have somebody here holding space for you. Somebody who's going to match your energy and clock spirit saying, give it time. Take your time to heal. This person is coming in. It's divine intervention. Remember what's meant for you will never pass you by and confirmation you are dealing with, you know, somebody very self-absorbed. It was a one-sided relationship. They may be, not maybe, they're going to be triggered by you moving on and they are going to come in and love bomb you, Gemini. All right, so just be aware of that. Get ready. For some of you, it's it's done. It's not going to affect you. But for others of you, I do see this person is still, they're going to try to get closure, which AKA means reopening the door with you, reactivating that cord. I'm just hearing, don't let that happen. You have something new, something beautiful, something in alignment coming to you. Now, this new person is going to be somebody you can feel at ease with. You're going to be relaxed. Um, they're going to be super approachable. All right. It may start off as a friendship. Okay. And evolve over time. Um, it's going it, to, th this person's going to be more casual in the way they dress and the way they present themselves. But I feel like that's exactly what you need. It's going to feel good. It's going to make you feel safe. And yeah, this person's okay. They're going to, they they kind of want you to take the lead because they know that you've been hurt or they know that you need time. All right. And we're getting Capricorn energy. This came out in the Sag reading as well. So again, your opposite sign, I'm getting a lot of similar messages in these two readings, but you may have a Capricorn coming towards you. This person's going to be re relaxed, casual. They're going to be best friend and lover. They're, they're kind of going to, they might know what you've been through. Again, it could be a friend that wants to take things to the next level. So they're going to give you your time. They're going to give you your space. And I feel like that's going to really allow my Geminis to open up in a big way. 
you're going to feel safe and secure with this new person. They could be Cancer. They could be Capricorn. Um, they could be Sag. Aries is what I'm getting, but there's somebody brand new and it's in alignment with you. Final messages for my Geminis. Yep. Deception. So it could be a secret admirer around you. Okay. So just keep your, you know, just, um, just look up, pay attention to who's, you know, who's flirting with you, who's smiling at you. Um, but I also feel this is just such a strong indication of that past energy was deceptive. Um, this past person is going to try to come in and, and try it, try again. All right, they're going to want to work on that partnership. And, and I feel like this person knows how to play you, Gemini, but I feel like most of you, if not all of you, have become wise to this and recognize that it's time to let go of that past energy. But work on your partnership. What I'm getting is give this new person a chance. All right, give this new person a chance. They are going to put in the work. They're going to hold space for you as you heal. All right, and this is your true love. Yeah, I feel this new person is a true love situation. There's something toxic, something codependent about that past energy that I can't seem to move away from, Gemini, but it's coming through. And maybe a lot of you too have had a difficult time letting go of this person, but spirit saying, do it. You're not going to be disappointed. There's something new, something really beautiful, something lighthearted, relaxed, something solid and stable and secure coming in with this new energy. All right. So I'm sending you so much love and light, Geminis. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, Geminis, love and light. Take care.